so in our last video we saw that how you can create a switch button and in this video we will see uh, an example where we can use the switch button so basically in real life scenario you should have seen the switch button in settings in android and ios both where we provide some permission to some applications like location permission mic permission storage access etc etc so uh, it is the best way to use the switch button it can be either true or false or on or off so we will create a similar type of app in which uh, we will provide three switch button for first one is for location second one is for mic and third one is for storage and user can basically turn on and off uh, and the text will change accordingly so first of all create a project in react native and open it in visual studio code and i have already opened the ios simulator and you can also run it on the android emulator if you are using the windows machine and simply run it by npm start so first of all we need to create three state for three individual switch first one let's say location set location by default the value is false second one is for mic And the third one is for storage. False. Now let me just import the switch button. Here we create a switch component and we provide the props. The first prop is the track color. The false one when the switch button is turned off. Let's say the text should be red. Um, when true it should be green next one the thumb we can provide a comparison here if the button is on then the thumb color uh, let's say black and the when the button um, switch button is Turn on it changes to some other color but uh, here I want it to remain the same so let's provide black as background as I have explained in my last video if you are uh, creating this for iOS then you should provide the iOS background color explicitly because this one will not affect it let's say red on value change here yeah, will pass a function let's say toggle location and the value will be location let me just create the function 
toggle location set location previous state previous state so if button is already true then it turn to false and if it's false then it will turn to true and let me just try the text here let's say location is and will be we will provide a condition based on the location if it's true then location is on otherwise is off let me provide style also I already created the text styling let me just save it okay we need to import the text first let me just save it again as you can see currently location is off and when I location is on now let me just copy paste this function this will be for mic this one will be for storage storage is we provide storage here so based on the storage state we change the function to toggle storage okay, mic toggle mic it will be based on the mic let me just save it as you can see if I focus is on mic is on storage is on mic is off so as you can see here we have created a three text location storage and the mic and based on the three state location storage and mic we are changing the boolean values of those switch buttons so basically these how you can use the switch buttons for settings and let me just tell you that this example can be done in a better way uh, we can create a custom component for switch button so that we can remove this redundancy you can see here we have to copy paste uh, this uh, line of code three times but we can create a custom component for this switch and we can use it here we will see these we will see that example in our next video thanks for watching it